what are the differences between the Tissot PRX versus the Tissot Gentleman Quartz watches. In this comparison, I will only compare the quartz watches of the Tissot PRX versus the Tissot Gentleman collection. I made a separate video for the automatic models. If you prefer an automatic watch, check out my other video. Both Tissot watches are elegant classic dress watches, as you can see here. Although both watches have the same size of 40 millimeters, the Tissot Gentleman looks bigger. In this comparison, we will talk about the quartz movement, the design differences and the price differences. Before I start, I want to ask you to consider using my shopping links below in the video description. You do not have any downside, but I get a small commission for referring customers. Both the Tissot PRX and Tissot Gentlemen use the same quartz EOL movement. EOL stands for end of life indicator. It means the second hand will move only every four seconds as the battery runs low. All the quartz watch models have closed case backs, of course. The Tissot Gentleman on the right has bigger lugs compared to the PRX on the left. Let's compare the 40mm Tissot PRX with black dial versus the black dial Tissot Gentleman quartz watch, which also has the same size. Here the PRX has a rubber strap and the Tissot Gentleman has a leather strap. As far as I know, Tissot does not offer the Gentleman watches with rubber strap, only stainless steel or leather. I think here with the other straps, both watches look like they have the same size, but the dial of the Gentleman looks bigger for me. As you can see, the bezels of those two watches look very different between the PRX and Gentleman. The PRX has a thinner bezel, the Gentleman has a wider polished flat bezel which draws more attention. If we compare the dials, we can see many differences. The Tissot PRX has a vertical brushed black dial, the Tissot Gentleman has a black sunray style dial. The hour and minute hands look different too. The hour and minute hands of the PRX are much more squarish. The Gentleman has more pointed hands. Even the Tissot Signature logo looks different. It looks bigger on the black dial Gentleman quartz watch. Between the center and the 6 o'clock position on the PRX you see the writing PRX. On the Gentleman you see nothing. So it looks a little bit more clean and minimalistic. The biggest difference for the date window is the background color. The date background of the PRX is white, for the Gentleman is black, but for other dial colors the backgrounds are often the same. Even the index hour markers are very different between the PRX and Gentleman watches. The hour markers of the PRX are thinner and square, whereas the Gentleman has slightly bigger and a bit cone-shaped hour markers. The minute markers on the dial of the Tissot Gentleman watch are longer and for me look like they are further apart. Another difference is the chapter ring, the ring between the hour markers and the bezel. It's not so easy to see on this picture, but the chapter ring of the PRX seems to be polished stainless steel. Here in the picture you can only see the reflections of the hour markers all around the dial. It looks like a black ring with white markings, but those are just reflections. Notice the words Swiss made are at the bottom of the dial. Now compared to the Tissot Gentleman on the right, the chapter ring is black and has dots as additional hour markers. The words Swiss made are not on the dial but on the chapter ring outside the hour and minute index markers. One last detail. The crowns of both watches are somewhat different. The Tissot PRX has a smaller but deeper and rounded crown. The Tissot Gentleman has a bigger but flatter crown. I think those are all the most obvious differences. Here you can see the Tissot PRX and Gentleman watches on the wrist with stainless steel wristband. With a stainless steel wristband, the Tissot Gentleman looks bigger in my opinion. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Since the wristband seems to have such a big effect on the overall appearance of the watch, let's have a closer look. Here you can see the thin brushed wristband of the PRX on the left and on the right the thicker, bulkier brushed and polished wristband of the Tissot Gentleman. Let's compare the case of the PRX Quartz versus Gentleman Quartz watch models. The watch models with stainless steel bracelet weigh 130 grams and 142 grams respectively. I'm almost inclined to think this is because of the heavier stainless steel wristband of the Tissot Gentleman, not because of the weight of the case. But in a moment I will talk about the Tissot Gentleman Titanium, which is much lighter. For the quartz watches, the case of the PRX is much thicker with 10.4 mm versus 8.5 mm of the Tissot Gentleman. This is quite a big difference. For the automatic watches, the Gentleman is thicker compared to the PRX. 
Let's have a look at the Tissot PRX quartz watch with blue sunburst dial versus the Tissot Gentleman Titanium with blue sunburst dial. Titanium means that the case and the wristband are made from a titanium alloy, which is much lighter than stainless steel. The hue of the titanium is a bit darker compared to the stainless steel. It is especially apparent in the brushed parts of the wristband. As you can see, the blue dial of the Tissot Gentleman Titanium uses a lighter blue compared to the PRX quartz watch. But otherwise, all the other design differences are identical to the stainless steel watches. The Gentleman watch, however, does not weigh 142 grams as the stainless steel watches, but only 90 grams. So it is significantly lighter than even the Tissot PRX quartz watch. By the way, only the Gentleman quartz watches seem to offer the option of a titanium case and wristband. Here you can see both watches on the wrist. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? I thought I should show the Tissot Gentleman Titanium here on the left one more time in comparison to the stainless steel version on the right and with the Tissot PRX in the center. There are not many dial color options for the Gentleman Titanium. Here the grey sunburst dial on the right, on the left the Tissot PRX quartz with silver grey vertical brushed dial. Some Tissot Gentleman watches have these cross lines on the dial. I could not find any official designation for those models. Here you see the watches with leather straps. Both watches look very good on the wrist, but which one do you prefer? Here we have the black dial Tissot Gentleman with cross lines. Most Gentleman watches with the cross lines are offered with leather straps, not with the stainless steel, but there are exceptions of course. Here we have the Tissot PRX with silver dial compared to the silver dial gentleman with cross lines. One model which seems to be unique for the Tissot PRX collection is the white fully luminescent dial watch with white rubber strap. In the center you can see the effect of the full loom dial in the dark. The entire dial area is luminescent. So let's talk about the prices. Please note that all prices are from the US Tissot website from April 2024. Depending on when and where you watch this video, the prices might be very different. Okay, so the stainless steel Tissot PRX quartz watches are sold for around 400 US dollars. There are some PRX watch models with full yellow gold PVD coating, which cost around 500 US dollars. The Tissot Gentleman collection currently does not offer any gold PVD coated watches, as far as I know. If you prefer a Tissot Gentleman quartz watch, you have to pay around 425 US dollars for the stainless steel watches and around 550 US dollars if you want the much lighter Gentleman titanium watch. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and consider using my shopping links below in the video description. You do not have any downside, but I get a small commission for referring customers. I hope this video helped you to choose between the Tissot PRX or Tissot Gentleman quartz watches. Which one do you prefer? Will you buy one or the other? Please leave a comment.